Not only can you easily reuse your movie clips, you can also easily duplicate them to create variations on the original animation. This will save you the job of reproducing all the assets in the movie clip and also all the steps that you went through to create the original tween. This example shows duplicating a clockwise rotating movie clip. The duplicated movie clip contained the same assets and had the same clockwise rotational tween. A simple step was needed to reverse the tween, and then we had two movie clips, one clockwise and one counterclockwise. Now you can see how they're used one or more times on the stage, so let's see the steps. Okay, let's close the completed example, and we have a starting file that we can open. And this is the starting file. And we'll quickly save this as a practice file. Now let's take a look at what we have in here. We have the main timeline, scene one. And on the main timeline, we'll select the one object that's here on layer one, frame one, and we'll look at the properties. And what we see here, it is a movie clip, and it's an instance of red rectangle. We can't see the full name of the movie clip, so if we hit the swap button, it will show us the one that's selected. We'll learn more about the swap feature later on, but it's the red rectangle rotating clockwise movie clip. Close this window and take a look at the library, and in the library we see we have two movie clips, or two assets. One of them is the red rectangle that was... Uh, that is containing simply a drawn shape and the second one is the red rectangle rotating clockwise which actually contains the first red rectangle instance of red rectangle we see up here in the properties and then of course this is put back on scene one we can see that this is an animated clip and our other movie clip is not animated, it's just a single keyframe, a static object. And we'll show this movie, we'll just do control test movie and this is what we have so far. So let's close this and let's go over to our library and what we'll do is we'll duplicate this red rectangle rotating clockwise movie clip. We do that by right mouse click and choose duplicate and we'll just change the name of this to red rectangle rotating and we'll put the word counter clockwise and we'll just remove the word copy at the end it's a movie clip and choose OK now that did not automatically have us start editing like when we create a brand new movie clip so we need to proactively click on it and select it so we'll do that and now we're actually editing this Okay, now let's see what this does. We'll do a play, control play off the main menu. And we can see this is our rotating movie clip. And we'll change this to a counterclockwise one by simply right mouse clicking over the tween and reversing the keyframes. And we'll do control play again. And we see we now have a reverse rotation. So let's put this to use on scene one. So we'll go back to scene one and we'll use the same layer, same keyframe and in our library we'll take the counterclockwise red rectangle, we'll just put this on the right side of our stage and then we will test the movie that'll be control test movie and there we have the two rectangles rotating in opposite directions. If you'd like you can change the properties of the second one that we just put on stage. We'll go over to the properties and we already changed the position and size by merely putting it there, but we'll get down to the filters and down the bottom left corner of filters we'll say new filter and we'll use glow and we'll change the blur X to 25 and you can change the color to something you like and you see we now have an instance with a property change on it of the same movie clip. Okay, one more change we'll make is we'll take again the counterclockwise movie clip and we'll drag that on stage and position it right above the clockwise one here on the left you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard to try to position it so that it's perfectly above it don't have to be exact and then we'll test the movie and there we have two uses of the same 
movie clip. And we're getting different effects in, in the way we're doing our animations. Just uh, close that. We could have used two layers down here on our timeline, but right now we're just trying to demonstrate uh, how we use movie clips in more than one way. So save that one more time. I'll use the shortcut key, and we'll just play it one more time. And so you can see how easy it is to take a movie clip and to reuse it in different ways. Notice how we had one movie clip used in two other ones. And notice how we just simply repeated the process of putting this on the scene one timeline. So each movie clip is a timeline, scene one is a timeline, and we can repeat the same basic concepts on any timeline.